Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and it's time to play slash discuss Geometry Wars for the NES. And no, not really, of course, this is Galaga. And yeah, so since today's my birthday, I decided to give myself a birthday present since I'm forever alone. And play Galaga for the NES. Yeah, so... Love this game, classic arcade game, the quickest LP I've ever done in this channel. I mean, not much to say, so it's going to be a quick uh, LP, because I doubt I'm going to get very far before I get game over. And yeah, so, I, I love the um, rainbow stars in the background, instead of just the normal white stars you see in the background. Nice rainbow colors. And, or if it's not stars, I don't know what they are, but they look pretty cool. And yeah, so of course, pretty much everybody's heard of Galaga, classic arcade game. And I was never very good at this game, but I did do a review of this game a while back in 2007, but I took it down because of poor audio quality. But yeah, love this game, always have. And yeah, so let's see how far I get in this OP. Let's see if I can beat, at least beat the high score of 3,000 up there. Oh, here we go, the challenging stage. Now it gets crunk. There's the bonus stage, and I doubt, yeah, of course I'm not going to get perfect. I think 40 points is the perfect score. In these bonus stages, I'm not sure. Ooh, got all of them right there. Ah. Alright, not bad. 33 points, and that's how old I am now, as of today. 33. It's alright. It's a sign! No, um. Alright. Fight like some Metroid enemies right here. It's like this uh, spin off of Metroid where you're playing as Samus and you're in a the spaceship that just got blown up. Alright, ready. I hope so. Capcom. Alright. I know there's a little short oh those like middle medals on the side right there like how many stages I completed I don't know but anyway this, this is kind of like a long time no play also it's been a while since I played this whoa look out almost got captured ah come on hit it all right stage five so far so good Love the sound effects too. It's the simplicity of this game, I mean, it was real fun back in the day. And it's old school. I mean, it, it, it's aged pretty well because it's still fun to play today. Alright. Stage 6 now. Well, a little flying scorpion is there. I don't know what they are. Space scorpion or space lobster? Oh, pwned. All right, here we go. I beat the high score. Here we go with the next bonus stage. Oh man, some of those take two hits to kill. Nice. Ah, oh wow, major fail. Oh, I got one of them though. A little bit of a uh, eight-bit stereo there. We guys eight-bit stereo. Shameless plug. Oh, this game only has two tracks. So if we guys does do a eight-bit stereo over this, it'll only be like what maybe two or three tracks. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because the music in the stage is awesome. 
I want this. I don't, I don't know if you can beat this game. Can you? Or does it keep on going until you die? Just like Burger Time. And stage nine. All right, I'm doing better than I thought I would. I wonder who the final boss is. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's see here. Oh, that was stupid. I guess I run right into the ship. Oh. One more life left. Make it count. All right, stage 10. Oh, I got a little, cause I got a little nice metal there. All right. Ah, dang it, I saw that coming. I still hit it. I fell. But, oh well. Made it to stage 10. Still did pretty good. 50.1% hit rate, hit miss ratio. I guess that's good. I'm not good at math, but anyway. Yes, all right, there you go. Let's play Galaga for the NES. Now, let's go ahead and discuss it. So yeah, Galaga, I mean, all I can say is it's a great classic arcade space shoot 'em up or shumps or whatever you call them. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, never really gets old. You can always go back and play it again. Some pretty fun stuff. Uh, you know, not much music in the game, but for the music that is in the game, it is pretty awesome. Fits the game perfectly. I love the soundtrack, the challenge of the game, just the classic nostalgia feel to it. I have to give this game a 9 out of 10. I mean, you can't really go wrong with it. It's a great game. Yeah, so if you never played it, I mean, you, some people might be thinking, well, who hasn't played it? Well, not everybody has played it. Uh, and if you haven't, check it out. I mean, you know, it's a simple arcade game, but I don't know how much it would appeal to today's gamers. But if you're an old school gamer, or even if you're not an old school gamer, like, you know, if you're real young and you grew up in the Wii era, you know, this generation, but you still love old school games, check it out. You'll love it. All right. Um, so, as the video states, this is a time to play slash discuss plus announcement video. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, I think I made this announcement before, maybe a year or so ago, after Google disabled my AdSense account, that part of me just doesn't want to be on YouTube anymore because of all the BS I've had to deal with off and on over the past few years since Google bought it and have made a lot of ridiculous changes to it. And a lot of us are aware of the stupid changes that have gone on. Uh, I mean, since 2008, 2009, you, uh, Google has made YouTube even worse every year. With the layout designs, each layout design they force us to have is even more stupid. Like, earlier today, uh, YouTube, once again, what a surprise, really pissed me off when I was trying to upload my new Rommore pick that uh, my friend Aurelia made for me. That's on my Facebook and my Twitter. Yes, I do have a Twitter, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and, you know, it's it's my profile pick now, but as far as my cover pick, you know how when you try to upload a cover pick, it says, oh, it's too small. You must make it 2,000 by 1,000 pixels wide or whatever. I'm like, geez, YouTube, really? That's too freaking big. Fine. I went into GIMP Photo Editor. It's kind of like it's like a poor man's Photoshop. I opened up the picture in there, and I made it bigger. And, oh, it's still not big enough. So, fine, I made it even more bigger. And then finally accepted it, and it shows the preview where it shows how it would look on the TV or on a mobile device or on your desktop. So that tells me, great, they accepted it. Let's go ahead and uh, adjust the crop, the cropping, and then save it and boom it should be ready to go no then it tells me your picture's too big please make it smaller I I was about to punch my computer monitor that really pissed me off like are you serious so it's stuff like that that really um, just makes me not want to do videos or anything anymore on YouTube because while I love YouTube, it's Google that's made YouTube that's made YouTube suck over the years. And I've done this for six years, and no, I'm not announcing that I'm going to stop making videos. But like I said uh, over a year ago when in my Google AdSense uh, disable rant, um, I mean, part of me just 
really don't want to mess with YouTube anymore. So if I don't do that much videos on Rawmor or SC2K, then you know why. I just don't feel like dealing with YouTube's BS. And uh, I know that you know editing a picture or whatever has nothing to do with uploading a video, but there are times where I've had to deal with BS with uploading a video. It gets stuck or says, oh, invalid corrupted file, which is not. And then finally a few days later, it'll let me upload the video. And sometimes Movie Maker gives me a bunch of crap. Um, I mean, I'll record a five-minute clip, audio clip, and then it only records two seconds of it when I'm done. It's ridiculous. Um, or like it only shows two seconds worth of what I've recorded, and it just, you know, it's just BS. So, honestly, I'm starting to think of just putting, doing what Star Soldier does. Put trailers on YouTube and link to my next video on Blip. No, it's not to make money. It's not to be a YouTube or anything, but it's just to, you know, kind of getting tired of dealing with YouTube's BS. I mean, at least, you know, on a blip, they've never accused me of fraudulent activity to gain more revenue. I mean, it's ridiculous. And we got to Star Soldier make decent side money uh, every once in a while through revenue uh, blip. So I might start doing that. And you know, if I don't upload that many videos anymore or it's just mainly trailers um you'll know why and that's probably another reason why i didn't feel like finishing ocarina of time sooner is because you know i just don't want to deal with video editing on top of youtube's bs and all that stuff so what keeps me going though is you know you guys you guys that subscribe to me watch my videos and my friends that in real life that enjoy my videos or doing videos with me i mean i still have fun on youtube but I mean, I just at the same time I'm sick of Google's BS, and part of me just don't want to have anything to do with Google, including Google Chrome or whatever. But you know, it, even Google Chrome's starting to piss me off now. I might go back to Firefox. But yeah, just a little announcement. Let you know. Um, I had to, had to blow off some steam because earlier that really pissed me off. It's like you make the extra effort to make your channel look more professional. Yet, yet Google wants to BS with you. And tell you, tell you, make your picture look smaller, or make your picture look bigger. And then when it's too big, it, you make it big. It says it's too big, and all this other BS. And that's why the S2K and Rawmore channels don't look professional. You don't hardly, you don't see no cover picture. And the S2K uh, profile pic is gone because YouTube. I don't know what Google did, and I don't even bother with it unless we got or J-Man wants to log in and do that. That's fine. I'm done with the cosmetic design of YouTube. Screw them. Okay, um, now, now that I'm through with that rant, let me move on to my Twitter announcement. Yes, I know I have a Twitter now. Just started it today. Um, Jamie is going to think, well, Ronnie, what the heck? I thought you hated Twitter. Yeah, I did, because I, I tried it a while back, and I already thought it sucked, and I just didn't even want to even try it anymore. Uh, but I, already, I, I got three Facebook pages already. I got the Ron, Ronnie Green Facebook page. I got the SC2K fan page. And I got the Skip Rogers page. I didn't want to have to make a fourth Facebook page just to have a Ron Moore fan page. So the Ronnie Green slash Ron Moore Facebook page is, you know, mainly my own personal Facebook where people that I know in real life or online as well, but just on my own personal private Facebook page. Now the Ron Moore Twitter page is mainly for, you know, Ron Moore, not necessarily Ronnie Green, even though it's basically the same person. There's not much difference in the character Ron Moore and the person Ronnie Green. But um, I wanted to have a fan page of my own. I didn't want to have four Facebook pages. So um, the Twitter page, Ron Moore, is just a fan page mainly consisting of updates from my videos on the S2K and Ron Moore channels and various other updates as well, retweets, whatever, because I follow a lot of people. Yeah, so I now have a Twitter, so follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description box. Also, a quick shout-out to my friend Sarah, a.k.a. Aurelia, if that's her name, or she has another name now on YouTube, who designed this picture for me, my new Ron Moore picture. It's on my Facebook and Twitter and on YouTube. So thank you very much, Sarah, for that. That's my birthday present from her. Thank you very much, and thank you guys very much for watching this and being patient with my long rambling rant. I just had to vent some steam, or let off some steam and vent a little bit, and yeah, so 
All right, guys, that is it. I'm out of here. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my birthday, my 33rd birthday. Jeez, 33. Oh, no. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.